From California State University, San Bernardino, it's Local Matters. Escape rooms and pet grooming. Hello, I'm Angelica Carrillo, and welcome to Local Matters, featuring stories from across the Inland Empire. And I'm Richard Nelson. Pets need grooming just as much as humans do. Reporter Mei Lin Togafal made an appointment with a pet groomer to talk about the trade and the different styles and techniques of pet grooming. Most people can understand the importance of a good barber, stylist, or even eyebrow lady. But what about the importance of a good dog groomer? Let's find out more about pet groomers, the profession that keeps our best friends looking so fresh and so clean. Most people don't know the extent that it takes to groom a dog. They think you're going to come in just like a, a barber shop or a hair salon. You're going to sit in the chair, you're going to work on you, and they're going to sit down. It takes about two and a half hours for a little dog to do a complete groom, and it takes about four to five hours for a big dog. We do whatever pre-haircut we have to do on it say it's a shave or, you know, brushing out knots or whatever. Then it goes to the tub. Then it goes from the tub to the drying cage. And then we start the next one. So while that dog's drying, we're working on the second haircut. So then once that dog, the next dog goes through the same rotation, the dog that's already in the drying cage can go onto the table, have its haircut finished, and gets to go home. My most rewarding thing with this job, one is when you have a customer that brings their dog in, and that dog is just a complete mess and they pick up the dog and they don't even recognize the dog and they're in tears just because you made that dog look the best you can and you help them out. What was that? Bella says, check out your local dog groomer because when you look good, you feel good. For Local Matters, I'm Maylin Tungafau. Imagine stepping back in time and finding yourself in an unfamiliar room and you need to get out. Reporter Jasmine Turner found just the experience in Redlands, where you're locked in a room from a different time and only have 60 minutes to find clues that will help you perform a grid escape. Some people like to dance, go bowling, or go to watch movies, but others prefer a night of mystery and a chance to escape to an experience like no other. I define an escape room as an, an, a real life adventure. So you see what happens in the movies, but this is like something you actually get to act out. So kind of take a combination of what you've seen in the Da Vinci Code and, and put it into a real life one hour experience where you're locked in a room, you have to solve a series of puzzles and see if you can get out within one hour. I came here with two of my other friends and my girlfriend <laughs> and it was, it was a unique experience because you're trapped in this room you're really required to come together, kind of engage in these clues, and figure them out. We had to collaborate with each other and try to figure out who was the leader or if there was a method to find the clues. It was really fun. We all came together, particularly at the end. <laughs> but uh, besides that, it was really, really interesting. Everybody comes in thinking, how hard could it be? And our advice is to work together as a team, talk to each other, and in our room specifically, talk to Nick the parrot, because he is there to be your lifeline. And I would even say, if you've never done an escape room, you have to try it at least once. Because yeah. once you do, you'll be hooked. Yeah. And you won't be able to stop coming. If you want to come do the escape room, it's pretty fun. Gotta say, just come do it. The escape room is not only about solving problems, quick thinking, and teamwork, but a chance to have interactive fun and solve mysteries. For Local Matters, I'm Jasmine Turner. To keep updated on what Local Matters is doing, check out our Facebook or Instagram. Also, visit our YouTube page at Local Matters CSUSB to watch some of our other stories. I'm Angelica Carrillo. And I'm Richard Nelson. Join us next time for more local stories that matter.